Yo, 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 welcome back, boys. The crack is your big boy, Simo Simo Card, Simo Frame, aka the real Sim Shady. I'm Monkfish, I'm back, and I have the fresh stealth. You haven't seen me yet with my new teeth, but here I am. Are they new teeth? Are they're not new teeth? They're not new teeth, but they're, they're like teeth with teeth over them. They're not teeth with teeth over them. Composite teeth. Diamond Smile, make sure you check them out there at Parnell Street. Yeah, they're yeah go in. Don't be messing. One, uh, <laughs> 120 a tooth, or if you want to turn her off, make sure you say me. Show us your natures. Man, isn't it? <laughs> they're good teeth. They're grand, they're grand teeth. Someone yeah. asked me where they mean natural teeth. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, they're But they're not. They're really, just really, they really not. Do they wind them down to little cocktail sticks and screw the fellas on? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, he'd love to get screw Would you though? Sure. Yeah. You have to get them knocked down. What first. did he put on there? Just a coat no of varnish. No, do you know like a filling? Do you know like a filling? What yeah. do you put in a filling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but no, it's we actually depend, don't. It's different, like a fucking composite, so like the brightness and all that crack, and they just mow low your teeth and then shave around it. That's grand job. Grand. What happens if that's just the wear away? You just got yellow gnashers back there. Just back to normal. <laughs> just back to, just back to pain out and toes and quit again. <laughs> that's where they'll get you. <laughs> but uh, now we're here. Welcome back. And look, we're starting all the way now. Who we have on this week? We have one. What would we say? One fourth. One fourth. One fourth. One, yeah. One fourth here, <laughs> and then virtually one, one, we yeah. have Mister O D. Come yeah. on, don't know who. Yeah. One, one, one and a half fourth. <laughs> yeah, Two thirds divided by the square root of sixty-four. Wild youth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And here, if you are looking at us, and why we're looking on the floor is because Connor couldn't make it, so he's actually on Zoom. Connor is actually in Barbados at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He's hiding in out of the sun there. <laughs> He's some tan on him though. Ah, look at him. Look some glow, colour. Isn't he? Some colour. He definitely has a ring light on, doesn't he? Do you have a ring no, light? No, that's Barbados. It's a natural light at night time. Yeah, it's a natural sun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight o'clock. Listen, I know I seen you last weekend. You did indeed, yeah. You had a great weekend. Yeah. Down the Seafield. Down the Seafield. Chalice. What a hotel. Unbelievable. What a hotel. Yeah, yeah. But how are you? How am I? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Excited. You know? Excited. Big, big week. Big week ahead. Big week. Yeah. Like, I mean, between, like, all of us, we've been doing so much between doing promo and just getting feet in the ground and letting people know what's going on. You know, we're in rehearsals pretty much non-stop and just trying to perfect this to the best yeah. we can. Yeah. Fine tune, as you say. Fine tune, that's it. Fine tune. Shaving the edges. And how are you? How are you finding it, Connor? Oh, this is mad interaction, isn't it? Yeah. You feeling any pressure? Do you feel pressure, boys? Or what? Mm. Sorry, Connor. Can you feel any pressure or any sorts of like that? I was waiting for him to say um, pressures for deep sea divers. I think we all kind of, we all kind of block it out, but I presume, yeah, on the night we'll always be questioning why we've ever played music. Yeah, hundred percent. You still enjoy it. Like uh, once, so, it, once you start, you start enjoying it, don't you? Like it's a, the pressure just disappears, then doesn't it? it does because you you know where you're at then. You can't turn away. I mean, it's like some of the gigs we've done. We've been like you know fortunate enough to play some you know massive stages and main stage. Yeah, EP. Or, oh, give me insight you know, on it. Come on, you'd be, you be a bit like before you go on. Naturally, you're like your your nerves take over. Like for me anyway, the knees kind of tremble a bit. And you're like oh, trollops. yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the minute you get up there, it just reminds you why you practice, why exactly, you do yeah. this, why the songs. You so know, it's the a great feeling. Oh, it's unbelievable. And I'd say that's going to be the same on Friday. Naturally, because you're representing your country, that's a huge... That's so Come, on, so Come on, Ireland. Come on, Ireland. Come on, Ireland. We don't, want, wild we don't want no turkeys Come anymore. Come on, will you? Yeah. <laughs> the turkeys. We're going to send four new turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> like, what were we actually thinking to send him twice? We weren't thinking, obviously. We but sent we a, we actually sent a tranquilicus doll. Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dust in the that's turkey. Cool. What a sad act. What was it for... Uh, Something dupe point or something. What was that? New, new, new point. How many points? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I love it. I love it. Like, who even come up with it? Seriously. Yeah, no. Please, God, Seriously. we don't get this. <laughs> and uh, how was, like, how's, how's the prep and all going? Is it going well? Yeah, I'll let Connor take this one. Yeah, go on, Connor. Walk away. How's the prep going? It's going good. I mean, it's just been a lot of prep, um, which is good. And a lot of just staying healthy, training, and yeah. then, uh, just rehearsal, trying to make the performance as good as we can. So, yeah, it's been good. Where's the, what about the, he's, he's saying, like, oh, I would, with the guy with the white hair, isn't it? Yeah, because the yeah. lads were watching, um, they had, when I came in, they had, like, the bleeding late, late show performances on, and, like, all the videos. If, if you're in here, you'd see, there's a big screen here. Yeah, you're missing out big time, basically, what you're saying. There's one, one, yeah, saying. There's one, one. Yeah. one on there, which is Savage, um, yeah, and Connor is Connor is singing on this yeah, one. Yeah, deadly. Um, supplied a fucking powerful vocal, if I can say so. Like, love it. Unbelievable, huge, and um, I think with that, you know, it even ties into the song title "We Are One." It's all supportive of each other, exactly, and of the song and going up there and performing it as one. What was the word he did. used earlier for the anthem? Oh, it's an anthemic song. That's I still love it. One. Yeah, it's. A, I like, love would it. you agree, Connor? It's like. We are yeah. one. It's definitely anthemic. It's a great. That's a great so word. So, where, like, where did it? Where did um, we are one generate from? Like, where did it, not generate originate from? Like, Connor's the man to ask. Obviously, yeah. I'm a songwriter. Oh, I'm hey, a songwriter as well. Yeah. I, I wrote it. Uh, I wrote it over in Stockholm. What is it? Oh, just is like a is it just like a quiet enough place? Is that your happy just place? To chill out like and think and write. No, it's just like there's loads of um... mushrooms. <laughs> 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 my bad, my bad. PR, PR, sorry. <laughs> PC. Sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah. They have um, just like loads of massive songwriters out there. So I go over all the time. And you're looking in the I'm windows and rambling their stuff. I, I met this guy who had written actually 19 songs for Eurovision the movie. What? And he's written songs for like Britney Spears and Kelly Clarkson and stuff and we went into the studio together. And then I just had the piano written and the kind of vocal for the chorus. Love it. And That's a class. That, that is mad, isn't I it? I love the feeling of going into a studio and just fucking record some, just be in there, just vibing. <laughs> you're doing that right now. No, but like a proper... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, this that. is our happy just place, but like, I mean like proper big music. When yeah, like, yeah. You see Dr. Dre on a big huge board. <laughs> <laughs> just lying on it. He's not actually doing anything. He's <laughs> just lying on the board. <laughs> yeah, like, do you, you ever see them like, like films now where like they just, they go into a studio and some fella's just like, somehow just playing some song and then they're like oh I have a few words for that yeah, and then yeah, it's just yeah. like all comes together and you're like that's definitely not how it works yeah, there's like definitely it's, people killing really. each other yeah, in the yeah, studio yeah. oh god yeah. have you ever had a little run in or not with each other have you ever had a what like a run in not a run in but like a little clash with the music like not obviously not publicly but like behind you know like oh you f- they're all going think, up like, like if you look at it like a band is a family you know and you, you're in close quarters a lot of the time everyone's also got ideas and opinions only to yeah. for the want of the better the yeah. band of course but like your own family you could like you you wouldn't go a fucking year without wanting to batter your sister of you course know, speed love yeah. the butter and there's That's these moments true, yeah. where you know you do get touchy but what we do is we talk about it we put it out there you make your peace of where one person's coming from and it never kind of it doesn't drag into the next day yeah. it doesn't drag no, over you not. know you just if That's you're annoyed it. sometimes it's better sometimes to vent it out of you because otherwise there's, this shit manifests yeah. and then before you know it you're thinking stuff which isn't even fucking yeah. true so I think in a lot of it um, and I think we've grown to ma- to be more yeah. mature as well with it would you agree Con or just how we kind of approach anything now yeah I think so yeah, yeah. you just learn to be honest it's like it's a fucking waste of time what's honestly, going on here like, yeah. holding things and being practiced just leave Especially when it comes to music, you have to leave your ego at the door and just kind of, you know. There we go. Bring it in and people don't like it. I can't take offence. You know, yeah. 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 That's exactly it. Just get on. At the end of the day, it's just throwing ideas together, really, isn't it? What? At the end of the day, like so, you just have to throw all your ideas together and just sort of just run with it, don't yeah. you? Like you can't just kind of see what comes out of it. Yeah, because everyone has ideas, especially with Connor. Like you know, Connor is the songwriter, and he is at the forefront, and he is um, 
um, you know, just doing so much and behind the scenes. Yeah. So obviously then sometimes you come in and Connor's got these great ideas and you haven't been there for the process. You you weren't there for all the days and the hours and the conversation building up to it. So you just get some time, um, I guess, could be like an end result. And if you're not right. happy with it, you say it, you know, because yeah. you're right to. But then at the same time, it's easy for them, for people to be offended by, you know, why you don't like it because you haven't been there for the whole process, you know, because yeah. everyone's working on stuff individually for the better of the band. Yeah. And then there's a lot, obviously, that we all do together. So it's just about being, you know... I guess patient with some of the processes and being understanding of each other yeah, and yeah. what everyone's trying to achieve for the greater good which exactly. is you know Wild Jute Wild Jute what a name where did the name come from they were wild and youthful did someone come up with or was it a, a together thing that or? was like a name generator yeah yeah that was that <laughs> yeah. AI thing went yeah. in that CG <laughs> yeah. or whatever yeah. chat give us band name yeah, yeah, with, yeah. It, with a high yeah, high yeah. pitch yeah <laughs> <laughs> Wild Jute <laughs> I'm actually singing. <laughs> so there is, what was it? Just randomly thought up or just yeah, just random. Yeah, come. Has to be. And give us a bit about that and a bit about like. Um, I think we've forgotten. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it seems like. Yeah. I saw it in like I don't know. I saw it in an article or a newspaper article or something. Like the band names. Like it's just like it's such a weird thing Yeah, 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 like till it suits your music, yeah, yeah name, yeah, it'll get you. Yeah, no way, yeah. yeah. That's a good point, yeah. 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 <laughs> what a fucking no <laughs> biggest band on the planet and you listen that to is actually, right. that's actually mad right see the way he said, mentioned you two why was only talking about you two today yeah right why the fuck are you two on everybody's poxy phone on iPhones it's just dear that was that was a big mistake that, yeah. wasn't it that, I remember there was more about that years ago <laughs> yeah that was it they had done like they had done a deal say that again Apple. con Yeah. Decided to do it. They sold the rights to their album to Apple. What? That's Apple mad. Made that decision to upload yeah. that album onto Apple. Yeah, phone. I knew that. Well, yeah. So you had to. Yeah, so you yeah. had to listen yeah. to YouTube. Yeah. 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 There, there was, there was more than you wanted. There was to. more than about a couple what of years that? back. Yeah, everyone yeah. was like, "Why Bono, are these on my phone?" Yeah, Bono had to put out a statement apologizing, yeah. saying, "Look, it, I, I like it. Should have been done better. We thought it was a good idea. We had the best in, in no intentions. One, no one listens to our music anymore. Right. This is the way we're going to get it out. Not we're working. old and we fucking have <laughs> blue, mad. I have blue glasses. I'm a <laughs> mad looking thing. Well, he's got glaucoma. He can't see. God, that old chestnut. That old chestnut. <laughs> You should be here, man. You'd be having great crack, I tell you. I just had some of those mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking out the window at that beach. He's ready no, to go out. Carl, tell me what's going to happen on Friday. <coughs> tell me, go talk me on through Friday. on Friday. Hopefully, we're fucking representing our country. Talk us through your week. Like, talk us through what's <coughs> happening. Like, how's what? Like, how? What's the process? What is the process for so, Euro song, yeah, like Eurovision, or whatever? There's so many moving pieces. Obviously, the song is most important. It's a song competition, you know. But then there's the visual aspect and making sure that you know we're representing ourselves you know the best we can we're also in good shape as connor says like a lot of us would fucking go into the gym diet trying to keep our head oh is that place. actually a big thing no well it's good for it's the best thing to do because not only do gym you is a better, great spot it, it, yeah and like you know for yourself, mental yeah like for mental health it, it deals with so much because it gets rid of anxiety it can mm-hmm. also help you you're looking the best you can and yeah. as long as you're going you know even if you're not absolutely bleeding ripped you know come whatever time you're aiming for you know that you're doing your best 100%. So we've been doing so much of that to try and keep ourselves strong, eat well, keep the skin healthy. But mainly building up to this, it's been rehearsals, a lot of mood boards, hasn't it, Con? Trying to figure oh, out. Oh, talk to me about mood boards. What's that? What's a mood board, Con? Uh, mood board is where if, if you want to kind of figure out the theme of the lighting for your stage, if you want to figure out how the stage is going to look, if you want to figure out how everyone will be placed on the stage, you put a mood board together. So let's say... Hmm. I can pick 
paid for it different right. whatever and then what will happen is you send that to the programmer and then what they'll do is they'll combine everything that you like into make it, it your kind of unique oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like whatever is in your head and they so you put whatever is in your head on a board essentially and they then transform that into that's cool yeah that and, and, and is, it, is it is it called a mood board because it's setting a mood for the people watching or is it a mood board for yourself yeah exactly. Yeah, a little bit of a a little bit of b no, is no, it it's, it's to like set the, the tone for what people are watching set yeah the mood, set the mood that's like what that kid does in school of luck brings all the business yeah. <laughs> yeah. set up the mood board yeah, yeah. Exactly. In the mood yeah. board <laughs> see what I mean yeah uh, no lesson but yeah. that's it like between various ideas of different colours and different you know ways we want obviously right. to represent the you know world youth and like Connor as well he's had some like really great which you won't you'll see on Friday you know is the best way and um, where can we see it on Friday it's exciting. well you'll be on the Late Late Show at half nine it starts and we have been informed that we are banned Band five, five. So, band five so people band, five. band make effing sure. five Both make sure you five. dial that phone <laughs> make sure you ring whatever you gotta do and text five <laughs> <Yeah>. don't <laughs> listen to any of that there'll be a phone number <laughs> <laughs> don't ring us because we won't be able yeah. to put it through for you I'll yeah. put good works number up there for you yeah, that's mad so like the Lele host Tubbs Tubbity he, he basically like they basically host the what would you call it? Like Irish. A, a battle the Euro song. Or whatever you want the Euro song is the Irish one. Where it's the actual tournament to... To see get you. Eurovision. Right. Yeah, so it's... There's, like, there's been... Obviously, I think it was like over 2,000 applicants, was there, Cam? That's a lot, lot isn't it? That is a lot. 2,500. And have you met... Uh, come and across... Down to six, and we're one of them. So that in itself has even that's been class. like, wow, great. You know what I mean? That's... Who that's are the six? Issue. You know the six. So the six, oh, they're great. I've been Robbie listening Rotten to or something. You were saying, is it who? Robbie Rotten. Or Robbie something. Rotten. That's your man. <laughs> old, that's your man. Old fucking lazy town, is it? Yeah. What's his name? Robbie <laughs> Rotten. <laughs> He's out here on music. He's out here robbing a bleeding euro. So who is he? What's his name? So, Johnny Rotten. He <laughs> Johnny Rotten. Robbie Rotten's, Rotten's better. So Robbie Rotten. Rotten. He needs. He yeah. needs to change that. But his name is John Lydon. Johnny Rotten was like his um, stage name for when he was the lead singer on the Sex Pistols. My. Sex Pistols dating back probably to I believe about was it late seventies, early eighties. There before the the First World War, already. <laughs> <laughs> they started it. <laughs> 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 yeah, they were all about anarchy and stuff like that. Great band that like I, I listen hey, look, to. Look, so. time is gone. Good luck to you. The yeah. boys are here now. Wild youth. Who <laughs> else is in it? Do you know anyone else? The last. Yeah, what's the other names? Con or a few of them. There's a great girl with a song called Wild. Weirdly enough, and she's great. <laughs> Wild. Yeah, it's the name of her song going in for the contest. Uh, 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 God damn! Shit, sorry, man. You're glitching there. Come back to me. God damn Tesco uh, Mobile. <laughs> Tesco Mobile. You, are you there? Say it again, mate. You're sorry, the bleeding laptop shitting and stuff. Sorry. Yeah. <coughs> uh, go for it. Uh, yeah, say about um, whoever's there. Because anything that goes on and gets glitched, remember, this is a free for all shot. And then obviously the yeah, lads come in out, yeah, and they yeah. just edit bits and just snip it all together. But you're back, you're back normal. You're there back now, normal there now, Con. So what's your one's name? <laughs> the girl with the. The things who, wild. Who are the other ones that are taking part in it? Do you know? It's not Jedward anyway. Uh, there's, a girl, there's a girl called Conley. Right. That's there's, a great name. Uh, Is that who's singing uh, Wild? Uh, Agity. Mm. Agity. <laughs> Is it Ag are you Agity? Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Adjective. Yeah. Adjective. Adjective. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that's Glitch Town, you know it. Glitch Town, I want to be something over there. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask him that as well. I wanted to ask him, but has anyone, like, he's written a song that didn't make to the band, did someone sell his songs to other people? Well, he also does, yeah. He's re He wrote songs with, um, he wrote Leah Hart's Christmas song with her. Who's Leah Hart? Leah Hart, Hart an amazing Leah artist. She's only supporting Lewis Capaldi on Monday yeah, in the tree arena. Now, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's flying it, and then her Christmas song got to like a couple of mil, I think it was, streams, which she helped write. And then also, there's another Irish artist called, excuse me, Moncrief. Moncrief, he Moncrief the, yeah. He was on the main stage of Picnic. He's real, uh, uh, what's bon, that word? He's real Moncrief. 
Oh, oh no, he's real uh, funky, isn't he? Style like funky style. He's kind of, it's very no, it's kind of like soulful pop. You're like he's kind of like I guess he's kind of like it's very pop vocal. Do you know? Sam and Smith. he's going out. Yeah, he's got a bit of that. It's very yeah. powerful the way he sings. You know, he's, yeah. he's mostly dude. He's in great shape. Sweetheart of a guy, um, like blonde hair and. Um, yeah, his songs are great and Connor's written a few with him. Like that's, that's early class. It is, it's good. Like and everyone just kinda helps out one another as well. Yeah. Just do what you can. <laughs> Talk us through your uh, your experience of EP. Was that your biggest stage? No. No, Croke Park was, which is Whoa. That was like, you were there in Croke Park? So yeah, we supported Westlife for two nights in Croke Park with That's savage. Huge. Westlife aren't though. Yeah. yeah great but, live band. Yeah, I mean biggest one I'd rather shave my toenails off with a fucking <laughs> angle grinder. I'd rather drag me sack through some shattered glass. I would. <laughs> Boys, I'd love to see you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now they're lovely lads and they were, they were kind enough to take us on the tour. That's and savage. Crow Park, man, is a different level. I'd like, say, I can I only mean, imagine. Like, I'm only from around the beating corner in Jobstown, going up on the stage. Right? It's only something I dreamt of, you know, of being posters on the wall and drumming in the kitchen, wrecking me bleeding poor man's head. Deadly. And then you go up there and that's when your knees are kind of going. That's when you're a little bit like, Wow, yeah, this fucking is trembling. Real. You can hear them all rumbling and seats yeah. and stuff. But like, we obviously played to. I think we played to something like sixty thousand. Wow. I thought it was eighty, but because we were support, still yeah, sixty thousand. Like, so we played to one hundred twenty thousand people, people over two days. Lord, you know, and that's on stage for forty minutes where you just given it, it sucks. Give it yeah, yeah, top hat. Did your top come off? Huh? Did you take your top off? I went down the vest so I could already lose the sleeves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I was it. thinking far ahead. Yes, you were. <laughs> so I love get it. the pants down at the end. Yeah. And would that be uh, for yourself? Obviously, you can't answer for the lads. But would that be up there? Your top, one of your top experiences. Yeah, I think, I hear, I think, what about Brazil and all this? Talk to me about that. Yeah, well, if I was to go down tonight, I'd say would like electric picnic was the, probably the best one because we were playing at three o'clock during the day. Oh, on a Saturday, the the sun. where it's the sun. But we didn't think no one really knew where we were. No one was going to come and see us. Everyone's at probably hanging together from the Friday, so we we're like, all right, this could this could be hit or miss, right? So yeah, yeah. we get up and before we go on, there's a couple of thousand people there, but it's you know there's patches of emptiness, and we know we're not on for another half an hour. And it's the first time we did it was 2019, um, and we're like, oh my god, all right? But no matter what, we just go up and do our best. So you're behind the it. stage, you don't see past out through the yeah, curtain because yeah. you're kind of just getting yourself together and you're kind of getting hyped. And then we went out, and there was it was recorded as the highest capacity at that time on the main stage. Deadly. It was 26,000 people oh crammed into God. the main stage. And you were giving the During sucks. the day when most people, well, I remember people it. would show up. It was savage. You there? I was you there. there, weren't you? Well, he yeah, shoved yeah, me yeah. way up to the front and all of it. Jeez, man. It and he threw his boxes and all that. It was I did. Old. I remember landing on my head. Yeah. Now, here, do you know what? Do you know what? And without sound, sounding soppy, yeah, I actually took a video. And sure. I, yeah, and I, was, and I was saying to myself, do you know what's mad? This fella is only from across the road. There he is. And there he is. All these people fucking <laughs> screaming and yeah. fucking shoving each other. Like, yeah, it yeah. was madness. It was amazing. It was chaos as well. Because I looked down and, like, there was people, like, pushing around and getting the mix. And then there's me dad just standing there crying. <laughs> It's like, it's like yeah, that. I, feel, I was like, man. Phil, I was like, Dad, I love you. But, <laughs> I, don't, but I don't come to your fucking job and start crying. I'm over here working, man. You're breaking me. I'm like, I know you're proud. Daddy. <laughs> you're a fucking man. legend. But I, I felt emotional. Class, and like, he's been there for everything. Like, my dad is. He's my best mate, as you know, yeah. my dad. Like, yeah, he's, he's a legend. You met my dad, Simon? I don't think so. No, I can't he, wait till I do. He's a fucking legend, man. He's my he's musical he was encyclopedia. He's manager and all, wasn't he? Is yeah. he still involved? No, he, well, he does. He's. Uh, he's he was managing a band for a while and he stopped and he went on to manage other bands he tour managers now with the the Beach Boys the bootleg Beach Class. Boys you know with Joe Leach and all they, they don't know oh my god they? What, they, yeah. they're, they're actually playing this Sunday a little club for them Civic oh, Theatre I think it's Frankie Valley actually? Frankie Valley uh, Monks, the Beach Boys Monks is going to have to go yeah to I'm going as well with the missus we're going to go over there I'm going to see John Williams right, Sunday, 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 this Sunday in the Civic Theatre how do we get tickets it's sold out Probably. so you go down there I'll and you have to text him yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got a plug. That's Say, camera kit. Get yeah, them in. Camera kit. Yeah, come H-C-H-H. on. H C H H. You are established. You go in and yeah. go. Do you not know listen, who the fuck we are? We are, are, are going to be interviewed. Yeah, yeah. We are going to be in. The, yeah. <laughs> just, oh, come on, man. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a sec, lads. Just a, <laughs> sorry, everyone. So, like, when did you start? <laughs> so, just get the lights up a little bit. Yeah, it's fucking really? shy up here. And what they're playing the Civic? That's That's a good spot. We were asked to do it out there, weren't we? A live show, but we'd be great. Well. 
I think with now you should definitely do it. You guys are on fucking fire. The yeah, place yeah, looks great. Bring yeah. this on the road. You know, and there's a lot to be said for podcasts and, and a lot of great people doing it. You know, either between the two Johnnies and then what's that girl's name? Vogue and Vogue and John uh, McNally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My Mrs. Loser. My Mrs. Loser. She's absolutely hilarious. Yeah, it's so funny. But like, I wouldn't really be, like, I don't listen to it. Um, I listen to it, you know, Passively through the misses, Course, yeah. having it on, but um, I'm fucking super proud for them because fair play. I've known Vogue for a while. I met Joanne for the first time at picnic because she was a sweetheart. Katie yeah. really just creamed herself. She's this like, <laughs> is this your own Nelly? Sorry, baby, do not we'll edit that one for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. it. <laughs> you look That's at them. brilliant. They're doing like five for like uh, definitely a, a more than two tree arenas yeah. off the back of podcasting. You know, so that the is market nuts, is there. It? It's it, but it's it what I mean. It and you are doing it. You but you know what you have to say though. <coughs> then people are going into the podcast game with backgrounds already. To so be it fair, helps. it definitely helps. But a lot of them came from having to do this. It's the grind as well. Oh, so of course, get, it's as grind. quick as people get there with that help, sometimes as quick as they can fall with an organic, natural push yeah. and like especially the stuff you're doing. I can see this studio; it's banging. The mics are great. The cameras are great. User bleeding average at best. It'll happen. It will. <laughs> <laughs> average Joe yeah. Soaps make it every day. No, you are fucking brilliant, and I swear to God, kudos to you. As yeah, hundred well, percent. Poor. Say, yeah. Look, what? it's my. I'm oh, taking me time here now. Like I'm grand now. Let's just keep going. I'll just live here for the yeah, next. Yeah, hundred percent. But so fucking, I um, do I take that watch off you know, if Saturday. What me fit me? Yeah. And oh, you could, yeah. Get me steps up. Do a few laps of the block. Yeah. Well, Connor lives in London. themselves, but like, if you come on with someone else. lives in London. Con lives in London. It's just handier from. There's no studios over here to ride in as much as like London has. Where every yeah. Like, is it's it, it expensive to get into the studio? Can it be? Studio, then you got to pay for the engineer. Then you got to pay for the producer. Then sometimes it's rental of gear for certain microphones or certain voices and stuff. Yeah, I remember fucking uh, my board went to one out in a uh, Holt. Yeah. Years ago, I'm. Oh, you put that back on for continuity. I should stick this back. No, on. sorry. No, but to start it with it does not make. A, oh, what no, matter? You just not sorry. Edit just and then yeah. yeah, grand job. Yeah. We're not. We're fucking, there to hear it. Are there? Yeah, she yeah. went to one out in Holt. I'm. I got a for a Christmas present. <coughs> yeah, yeah. And fucking 700 quid to record three songs. Yeah, man, Jesus, that's fucking... And it was literally, like, covered so, track? like... Yes, It wasn't that fancy, like, it was just... Sweet, isn't it? Isn't it? Probably would have took him an back. hour to show <coughs> them together, like... Yeah, and that's it. But then again, like, some of the shoes like Grouse Lodge were, like, Michael Jackson. Like, God rest him. Uh, God, God rest his soul. He's going to be the next... It's Bridges Day as well. It, it actually is. It's the 6th, isn't it? Yeah. It's the bank holiday on Monday. Oh, it's changed, isn't it? Yeah, it used to be the 4th or something. There was why is that murder about St. Bridget all of a sudden? Because they changed the days. It's the 6th now instead of the yeah. 1st. It was you know originally that? the 1st. I only looked at my calendar today, so there's no reason I know that. I yeah. Clue yeah, it was originally the force, but they changed it to the six <coughs> for some reason. I don't know what the fuck. Ticks. He must have found an old notebook or something. Yeah, yeah, some dodgy up in the attic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's always it was on, was on the six and they're like yeah. bollocks, bollocks. You had on the force forever, forever. <laughs> fuck don't know what to do with me February. All the skills are like we're at a making the bridges did, cross already. Whose calendar did he check? Fucking Archimedes. <laughs> 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 yeah. The Chinese calendar. What the, <laughs> what the fuck going what on? What a name, El Archimedes. Yeah, what a name, Archimedes. Have you? What a You've fucking You've been reading name. today. Yeah. What Good a lads. name. And I'm dyslexic and I can't even write. Yeah, I'm not a poxy word to be dyslexic with. Let's yeah. find the most poxy <laughs> word to give people who have a uh, difficulty you know what he did? You know what he did on a podcast? Evil genius. He's an evil tramp. <laughs> well, That's him. You know, he, he put me up against a girl, yeah. Who Amber, also her has name dyslexia. is. And she ha- also has dyslexia, yeah. <laughs> and it was a spelling competition. <laughs> You know, spelling bee with them. And they could. You know what? Me. <laughs> hey, you know what? He gave her the hard words. No, you didn't. Know. He gave her a vegetable. Did you? And she went, V E G a table. Vegetable. T E A B E L A E A L. And I was like, what the fuck? Hey, you don't you, 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 you will that. never understand <laughs> yeah. how mad it is. I won't yeah. because I can read. <laughs> this is a mad thing coming from. No, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.
John Bird. Bird. Remember that was up there. Water balloons. Going out there, water balloons, standing in front Eggs. of the car. Didn't some lad though get fucking yeah, arrested? Yeah, arrested. Yeah. Well, you, oh, you, you, uh, you just sat in, like you were just in the road. And some people. Don't you think it's peaceful protest? My did that as well. Yeah, my yeah. man sat in front of them as well. Is she? And they just went. They just lifted us all up. There's no such thing as peaceful protest anymore. No, it's not as bad as America though. They get fucking sprayed in the face, battered with bats. But here, speaking of uh, Jobstown, yeah. what is it like to be just on the way up and be from a disadvantaged area? Yeah. Bring As us back, Jobstown. what's it like? What was... I feel I feel proud. Like, you know, it is, we're like, proud of you. I feel, well. you know, I, like, I wouldn't change it for the world. Jobstown's like where my heart has been, where I grew up, where mm. I learned fucking playing football, street smarts, good lads, mad lads, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking, and it's difficult, especially like, you know, I wasn't really for school. I was, I was a messer, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't yeah. really give. I was like, I was grand at school for a few years and then I just stopped giving a shite. Yeah, you just, know what I mean? I think, it, you know, the stuff they teach you in school, it's a very dated system. You exactly. know, it's all pretty much like a warehouse or like a factory line worker where it's stick your hand up to go to the toilet, stick your hand up to ask a question. Yeah, yeah. It's then the exact same when you get in a factory line, yeah. which is really dated where... I don't need to be filling my brain with fucking types of stones and sedimentary rocks and lime scale or limestone it's and true. clouds, few cirruses, few well, stratuses. Yeah. I get it. I couldn't tell you which one is either of them, yeah. but I could probably prefer to like know how to fix me being washing machine when it's Or do it. some taxes. How do I get my taxes done? Can't do exactly. accounts. How do I get car insurance for the first time? These how do I get a mortgage? You, need if to start I doing it. you know, I don't know. I didn't know any of that. How do I apply for a house? How house do I do anything? Why don't we yeah. set up our own skill? For absolutely. Yeah, like, like Zoolander this will be a Zoolander <laughs> this is rude maybe not <laughs> maybe that's <laughs> <not, laughs> <maybe not, laughs> <maybe not, laughs> at least 10 times <laughs> 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 that is this that was brilliant <laughs> what a movie what a film like, what a film they nailed oh, that that was, that, that was a good time for movies when the bleeding oh, audience super bad it. step runners <laughs> fucking Zoolander and now it's just all PC isn't it really ah, you, you can't say it anymore so I won't even say anything no we won't yeah. it's so easy to get cancelled nowadays yeah. I was watching the office the other day I love the American office Love the UK one. Well, I watched that during the pandemic goal. just a binge on. No one else. You can jump in on any episode. No one else could play Shrew. Oh, not a no fucking, fucking toy Shrew. No not one. a chance of it. Your man was what saying, Ray, a man. What a man. Unbelievable. He, yeah, he just so took funny. it to a different level, do you know? And like he's brilliant. Then your man, Steve Carell. Or Steve Carell is the funniest oh, fella. Ever. Michael Scott. He's unbelievable. Doesn't he look so he? smart, but like. But he's so I think, Yeah, I think it makes <laughs> it that <laughs> so good. Jersey dinner with the schmucks. Yeah, brilliant. I'm oh. fucking. I'm wondering how I said, because Katie was asking you tonight. That's the one watch it. I was like, I've seen it, but I don't know. He's or, a, what do you call that? He, made, he, he <coughs> finds all uh, roadkill m- mice. What's that word in there? He like stuffed them and. Oh, I know it. Uh, fuck. Taxidermy. Oh, taxidermy. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taxidermy. He makes a little mice on it and all. So you've had, what's I can't even say now. Tr- fuck, what's the tran? Qu- you stick your hand up the bleeding puppet. Tranquilist dolls. Tra- that fucking tranquil. Yeah, and then fuck it. <laughs> Archimedes. Well, Archimedes. He is on a fucking. You're not dyslexic. You're pretending. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, you I can't win that spell and be. You cheated. Oh, yeah, oh, basically, we're back to that. Like he 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 I think he puts it on. Now, I think to be he honest. does. Yeah. It's just, all. It's, it's all a game. It's just to get on your level. I hope. Do you know what? I hope it's not. I hope you're not claiming disability and we rat you. So are you saying we have disabilities? Dyslexia is a disability now. Turns out how much money he's making off the doll. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you don't get anything. Yeah, look at that face. Yeah, no. Can we get a close-up? We don't, don't, we don't get that. anything. We, we, we as in us, yeah, as a group yeah, of people. Yeah. <laughs> we are one. <laughs> There's just a hey, name. We She's are one of the dyslexic people that. down at the fucking yeah. doll office. He's still on dyslexia. Oh. <laughs> and so are you trying to say that I'm on the doll? Yeah, eh? No. Well, where do you collect your disability money? You don't get disability money. It goes up to the shop. Is this one actually serious here, people? people? Let's you're cancel missing, monks. You're missing a be here. You're, you are missing out here. You need to get on Can that. we cancel monks? You, you can't get cancelled <laughs> if you don't let them. There's so many levels here. I'm, like, I'm trying to figure out where we started. Never mind where we're going. Like, what do you have again? What do you have? <laughs> so we're, so yeah, we're so making so our own <laughs> Figuring out whether dyslexia is, an adi- yeah. what did you call it? A disability. Oh, he's made it to the halfway point. This is the halfway point here now where we say thank you to our sponsor. Help us out here big time. Yep. Camerakit.ie. Down in Tardinio Business Park. Go down, get your high end quality cameras, audio and lighting. If you can't find them, go into the link in our bio. Make sure you do it. Check it out and let's get back to the episode.
<laughs> yeah. Let's say disease. It's not that. Look, it's if you come to our school, it's a disorder. If you come to our school, you can go to PE. You can skip and go to PE if you have dyslexia in our school. All right, I'll tell you the story. Yeah, go on. So back in Thomas's. We all, we all yeah, went there. Yeah, yeah. Shout out St. Thomas's. Yeah, go on. Miss O'Shea. Yeah, yeah. I oh, know. Miss. Miss Fenley. Mr. Oh, Fenley. No, it's not Bronson. Oh, oh well, you were older again, actually. Yeah, yeah. stunning. I had a fucking nice to bring What about Mr. Melrick? Did you have yeah. Melrick? Mr. Melrick. Remember him? Else, Melrick. Like my grandma had him. I don't, as don't well. think so. No, I think he did. Mr. Melrick. He was yeah. drinking yeah. vodka to beat the band. He was That's only me water, boy. Yeah, the weather man. That's what I remember. He'd be like going around with his oversized suit. Brilliant. Remember what I was calling that? The weather man, because he was spitting everywhere. Yeah. He'd be so down to Chandler. You'd want the nails, not the weather. So to swear to God. You'd get locked all the vodka going into your pores. Yeah, but. St. Thomas's. St. Thomas's. School. I was dyslexic. I was dyslexic grown up. Still not a disability disclaimer. Yeah. I was in an extra reading class <laughs> because I couldn't read. I never got Whoa, to. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. He does have dyslexia. This fella cannot <laughs> read. Let's put him in an extra reading yes. class. Let's, and let's talk to him even yeah. more. <laughs> well, more uh, difficult. Not well, like shit. Yeah. Let's put something Replace like. Replace it with some images else. or something yeah. like it. Well, it was actually. Oh, in, it was actually. It was actually called. Right. Sorry, sorry. It was actually called an extra English class. Oh, right, sorry, comprehension yeah. and Compre- stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know yourself. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like um, so. But I was in a separate class, so I was segregated as well from my own class. <laughs> when you came back, you were doing double English. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me this is the disability and it's, so it's actually a torture. It's torture. So and. if people from the Jobson area remember room two, that's room room. two. That's where I was. What, <laughs> room? On his own. Room Just with reading. With people. No, you used to have to do lines in room two. Yeah, but <coughs> that was lines. If you got in trouble, I will not mess again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like the other things. Of time. Yeah, yeah. 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 But no anyway, way. I'll get to the part that I'm talking about. When room two had PE, I was allowed because it was only six or eight of us in the class. I was allowed to go to my original class and knock on the door and say, "Pick someone, pick someone for PE." <laughs> and you know, I used to love it. I used to go in and say. And who wants to come and pee? And everyone goes, Pee! Oh, you're like a pee, man, when you walk yeah. back in the class. So yeah. I'd, I'd pick a mate and say, Come on, we go game football or whatever. Halfway, Halfway yeah. And Brilliant. then you bring them back to class, and then you'd be just sitting there. Just oh, looking at the phone. Yeah, it's the best time ever then. And it actually sounds like a prison when you think about it. You've been in there for solitary confinement doing double, triple English all day. You've been doing lines and Go out for two. ten minutes. Yeah, get a bit of air. Go out and get a bit of sunlight. Come on, so yeah, come on, in there. come back in, like, you're grand. It's a poxy dated system. It is. You know what I mean? Segregation, bit of torture. But yeah, you <laughs> double w- English and you dyslexia. Like you definitely will. Else. <laughs> you definitely will win your revision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely. <laughs> In a full circle round of events, oh, we're gonna win the Eurovision. Yeah, but oh, he, he, he is—he is a local lad. He's a Jobstownian yeah. at heart. The Jobstownian, yeah. and please yeah. vote for the guys. Come on, yeah, yeah make sure you vote for them. And look, if you don't vote for them, vote for Sinn Fein. <laughs> a vote for Ward is a vote forward. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what the lad said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Simo, Simo was mentioning your chain. Yeah. yeah. Give us a little Give story a little on the train. train. You have your train of work. So you'd noticed it, didn't you? Would you say you'd seen it in like a one a bit, haven't you? Yeah. And like, my missus got me this, I said about two, maybe three years ago. Shout and out to um, missus. Yeah, to Katie Slane. Slane. Hello, Katie so Slane. Katie McAdam. Yeah, oh. Love it. Love it. No it's relation it. to Tara McAdam. I love it. No, otherwise I'm we'll not. Uh, <laughs> bank balance. <laughs> Listen, I have nothing. She doesn't know yet, but he booked us in to interview the guests. Of the wedding. Of the wedding. <laughs> Everyone's coming to part. Middle, middle of your vows. Yeah, and how do you yeah. feel today? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let him tell his goddamn story. Yeah so, the, yeah, so this fella, it, um, yeah, I just liked it. The missus knows the kind of like symbolic things, and there was a bit of symbology in this, was kind of the upside down of the all seeing eye. Yeah, the all seeing eye. Conspiracy theories I love today. It. But we'll yeah, do that another we time. will another time. But um, yeah, it's also, I look at it as anchoring me. You know, that's yeah. not to go. It's just an upside down triangle at the end of the fucking day. Let's not point not the ground. Oh, come keeping on, you're grounded. Keeping you grounded. Keeping your mind on the mm. hard work you've done and you know what you've achieved and where we're going. Which is hopefully fucking. Stark. You're on as hopefully. as for us today. We there was I was telling Monksy there recently. <coughs> we, I was looking. I've been waiting for the following on our account to go to a a a a because it means okay. that 
the double eights or the triple eights or the four eights means that you're on your right path in life, in business and with any of your goals. Numerology. Yeah. And that's a sim. This sim- is amazing you said that. This is the thing. I got this tattoo on the 11th of the 11th. I love last it. Last year. Whoa. I love it. Oh, because 11, yeah. 11, 11, 11, 11. is to say it's supposed to mean you're on the right path. And we're going to get into that. You see it ever. And I've got... And I've got... <laughs> you better get out some numbers. So, so we have four, four, four. That's, four, four. Four, That's four. for protection from evil thoughts. There you go. What? So, what is he? This, this is my... Right. Right. I'm already full. <laughs> <laughs> one, four, one. If anyone wants to ring me, <laughs> let me know. I, I, I thought he was going to give me a number there. No, I actually need to get one. I wanted to get a big one. Do you know, uh, did you ever see people the way they get like dates of birth, but they're them big numbers, like yours, the 444. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to get one like that. I might get one across me, me toy. Across your toy. I might get it 1997. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll have to edit that. Yeah, he was what? born in like 2001. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, He's, maybe. Yeah, go on, Melania. Yeah, let's just put a different number over yeah. there. <laughs> and edit. <laughs> Cut two. So where did you get that triangle bracelet from? <laughs> so I will ask you another question. <coughs> so do. see with Wild Jute, yeah? yeah? Where does Wild Jute sit in today's market of, like, bands, songwriters, and stuff like that? Where is it, like, is it indie music or... Indie rock, is it? Yeah, we kind of call it, like, it'd be pop indie, you know? Because, right. you know, at the end of the day, they're pop pop written songs mm. that mind also keep it like as energetic as you can but we always wanted to write songs that had good hooks and melodies and you know you'd be melodies. singing for the day melodies yeah. that was like something out of that what's that song called Je- regulators but here do you know what you need to come back with that <laughs> stand by do you know what's a good uh, do you know what's actually a good right it's a mad point but it's a good point do you know when you when you have like a song that. Remember you said your your song was on um was it the air ad? Well yeah 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 <laughs> yeah good memory S- something like that yeah, it was is, it was the air ad is, and the that's what, was on the yeah, at Christmas that's yeah. what helps like stuff like that helps people have not you don't want to f- f- fuck like lash something down people's throats or fucking yeah. into, lash into their brains but it's a good way of like that's so consciously sti- hearing the yeah, song that always sticks ad. in my head that that's ad exactly, that's, always sticks in my head that ad that's what they're called sync deals. And if you can get yourself on a sync deal, which is like ads, you know, yeah. telly, you know, the start of a movie. Like another great one is like, you know, like the song, the start of Scrubs or like Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah. Yeah, Everyone yeah, yeah. remembers the song. Oh, we, we, we go into you know it after I mean? three. Yeah. And I just, just can't think it. Hey, now you're not the boss of me now. And you're, you're not just a... I love that MB. Oh, what's the MB? What a film. What a film. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> and let's see, you get that's the thing so huge. So the air ad did massive for us like as well because it just just got you out there a bit more. I'm like, yeah, yeah. We don't have lots of money. We're managing ourselves. Like you know, like a lot of people they just assume that because you get something like that <coughs> You just automatically have lots of money. money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like But it's not you always don't realize that. how much everything costs because a lot of it is like, you know, when you're going on tour you're you know, a lot of the time bands break even because you're paying for the van yourself. You're paying for the fuel that has to get you there. You're right. paying then for your sound engineer, your light engineer, a guitar tech, a drum tech. They all need to get paid. So when, because it's a company as well, you understand that like it, we play music, we love what we do, but we take it so seriously and do it for the rest of our lives that of like it's like a limited company. Yeah, yeah. So people, you need to make sure that everyone's getting paid. They're getting their wages for the day. Everything's sorted. Then you got to pay for the venue. Then you're paying for merch. Then you're paying the, you know, the lighting guy has to come to rehearsals, get the right show. And then there's a lot in it. There's a lot in it. You're basically backing yourself really, aren't you? Really awesome. That's like it. So like a lot of anything that because a band is like setting up your own company and getting your brand out there. And what yeah, you yeah. sell is, I guess, escapism. Yeah, you know, yeah, songs yeah. for people to go to work and course, forget yeah. about stuff. Yeah, yeah. Chill out at home and have a few drinks and have on the back. Yeah, yeah. Let's give people an outlet that it's something everyone gravitates towards. So not everyone you know, even wants to be a musician. They just like listening. Then yeah. There's other people who just love playing music and learning it. Mm. But it's the way I look at it, it's the most universal language. No matter where you are or in the world, you'll find music. a similarity in music with Always. anybody. Yeah. You'll find at least one or two freaking at least artists or bands or singers. And yeah. it's just that, it just gives people escapism. So I yeah. think then as well, that's why we love what we do, but to go full circle, you're not making lots of money. Like when you're on radio, everyone's like, you're getting bleeding loads of money. And you're fine. You're like, are you signed to a label? For the tour. Yeah, we're Wage Universal. Oh, sure, oh well, actually, it's Universal Publishing. Um, There's a couple of different universals, there isn't there? Is, yeah. Now we're with um, 
I guess we are well, let's just say but you are all it. growing for ourselves and you are doing independently mostly yeah absolutely like everything building up to this Euro song we're doing ourselves yeah and like because no one else is going like when you manage yourself you can't sit there and expect someone to do it yeah, yeah. and we, you know we go through we have had managers and you know and some of them have been great and some of it just hasn't worked unfortunately but I should probably bring this over from fucking talking that way um, I'm um uh, sometimes it's just better to get back to yourselves and do yeah, it yourself yeah. you know start getting down and getting on the ground and figuring out what works for yourselves before you can take someone in yeah, because yeah. sometimes if you don't have all the pieces in the right place you can't expect someone else to come in and do with your fucking shit that's yeah, everywhere true, yeah, you yeah, need true. to get, be needs like to see hey, what's going on needs to see what's going on <laughs> yeah. exactly and you need to be able to be like something to present to people to go I can see what you're doing I love how you sound you're also being savvy enough to figure out business plans or next yeah, steps yeah, yeah. And then it's like a portfolio. Hey, this is what we can offer. This and is, yeah. we can fucking do it. Just Class. believe in us. Believe. JCFC, believe. Class. Yes. Fucking get it. So that's, that's where we're going for the Eurovision. For like just fucking four lads in Dublin. Just and it's in Liverpool, list. is it this year? It's in Liverpool. Absolutely, mate. That'd be great. That'd great be a great city. So at least you don't have to, you can just hear, yeah, points for Ireland. Yeah. Yes, hopefully. That, <laughs> in that, that's in what I did. One experience Newport. to have. Newport. Newport. Like, with two have. When you do it, yeah, you're yeah, gonna get it. Yeah, it's manifest it. You're gonna oh, get oh, it. I love manifestation. Yeah, man, I think we were talking about that yeah, before. We're, we're gonna do it. See it, believe it, achieve it. Yeah, you know that's it. I think that's, it I, I, can't, I can't take that one. I think that's from the fucking secret or something. No, no yeah. so you I just said you're in like a maths book or something. <laughs> yeah, no, I was in double English. Do lines of that. See it, believe it, achieve it. What do we say? I see myself walking out of her. Yeah, bye. But no, station is real it's a big thing it is for a believer in it man yeah 100% it is and there is such, advocate for it and there is such thing as sex manifestation okay um, I, you, you feel like you want to you want to talk about yeah, this cause yeah because I brought I kind of said it the other day but the girls didn't understand what I was talking this, about yeah like one maybe go a second time this is English part two yeah. <laughs> and I won't say it because it's not that type of podcast today Oh, but then we'll do it on the next podcast. Yeah. You're yeah, absolutely right. Good thing. Real easy to go off the rails. But, um, it's nice. Come here. Speaking band boys. Yep. What? You're going to have a lot of editing to do, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> go what on, was, uh, What was your most craziest experience? Ooh. Doesn't have to be crazy, that sounds like, like episode two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have we just said this? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Come back to yeah. Yeah. Episode one. yeah. Come back for episode two. That's when we yeah, get yeah, the juicy bits. Yeah, we're gonna we'll keep that. We're hooked. gonna keep that's that. That's how we're going yeah, down yeah, the rabbit hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be a messy one. <laughs> yeah, I love it. But um, what was the fucking the biggest arena we did that we, we Crow Park yeah. favorite? That's favorite. That's gonna be. We're gonna say. I Did you not have a list there? Oh, that was you, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, we went. What? Did we I? done all that, didn't we? Did we? I think, yeah, no, I think you. We nearly hit the, he- the yeah. nail on the head. I think you've absolutely like. We did. How long are we recording? I, mean, I haven't got the chance. I don't get to listen to podcasts. I just listen to music. Which yeah, is funny. yeah. I listen to some podcasts that are usually about mindfulness or yeah, yeah, yeah. philosophy. I find yeah. quite interesting, right. just to help deal with any anxieties in the world and stop yourself from thinking. What too I do much is I listen to music that makes me happy to fire my anxiety. Does that and that works? Yeah, listen yeah. to a lot of Christy Moore or Lovely. a lot of old, old <coughs> souls. Yeah, and that settles you because yeah, I think does. with that, it's finding something, especially after the yeah. pandemic. Everyone's no one is the same person, I believe, no. who they were going in, whether it's no, the good no, no. or the wor- or exactly. good or bad. Everyone's yeah. had to adapt. This or is evolve. a good co- topic of talk. The, yeah. co- the old pandemic. Yeah, look, like, it gets a lot. Of, it doesn't get shown. We get shadow banned. Do you really. get shadow banned? I was going to ask, like, how does that work, Tammy? Shadow band is yeah. scrap. Like if you talk about anything they that just, goes against the grain, they just sh- shadow out. Just monitor it. And, just and who's monitoring it? Is YouTube. 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 There's there's some fucker sitting there. Sitting with, there going, I don't like that word. That, but that shouldn't be it because it's like that's like you might as well take all the dictionaries off the fucking shelves. You might as well take Shakespeare off. You yeah, know. Exactly. You know. And like fucking Macbeth, Hamlet, anything yeah. that has had expression and yeah. word because that's based on that one person's personality who we talk to someone else and goes hey I, do you not like this word I don't either what about the other 7, 8 billion people yeah. who could potentially want to listen to it Yeah, you know freedom of it speech is mad. but her I'd like to say best of luck thank you yeah. for Friday thanks for having me lads this Cheers. is gonna this is gonna be out Friday yeah fingers uh, crossed no it will it will yeah, be it will out be if you are listening now it's actually Friday morning and um, the lads are on what time is on it um, show starts at half 
nine. I'm so nine. tune nine. in. And we're band five. Love it. Band five. five. Remember band that. Wild band youth. five. Wild youth. We're band at, five. We'll probably actually do a live, will we? Yeah. We, we'll live stream it. We'll do, yeah, we'll do a live and we'll, we'll keep reminding you all band five, yeah. world youth. You'll see the we'll sexy man here. fucking banging away on the pans in the back. Yeah, them tubs are getting fucked. Yeah, tubs are getting them. smacked around. <laughs> They're going to need oh, new ones yeah. afterwards. <laughs> We're here 100%. Fucking best of luck. <coughs> Thank you so much. I hope you still well, yeah. 100%. 100%. Give me this. Oh, you want this? Oh, oh you want oh, this? Oh, oh, this. oh this, is, this is episode yes. two. Sorry, right. but episode two is about to kick and, off here. And today, after, yeah, um, episode two, we've won the Eurovision. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the same blow as I haven't left. <laughs> now, that's class, but look, best of luck. Thank you. And look, you know what to say. Yeah, and if I don't see it through the week, I'll see it through the window. And keep your head out the microwave. Yup! <laughs> <I love that. laughs>